Good morning. It's getting hot out here. I've got a, a cowboy outfit on because I want to show you a couple of cowboy guns. Now this one is my first generation made in 1906. 38-40 caliber. And I've done some ugly work on it. I may send it off and get it refinished, but otherwise it's pretty good condition. I made a feature video on this one, and actually three, two of them where I was doing some repair. What I want to talk about today is a mate to it. Looks somewhat better. Made in 96. I bought it new in box uh, last Thursday. And I cleaned it up some, and uh, haven't shot it yet, but we're going to do that here in a little bit. Looks a little nicer than my old one. We'll see if it keeps up. I'm going to do the John Wayne load on this, the way the cowboy action shooters do it. And we're down on empty. Hammer down on empty. I heard it yet. Well, I made a lot of noise. I couldn't see anything down there. That's the first five. They look pretty good. All went off good. That's the kind of thing you got to put up with when you're shooting black MZ. Lots of smoke. It's very humid out there this morning. It's just sweltering. Even though it's below 70 degrees, it's just miserable. We'll give this another try. Well, they went off every time. Seems like this was a little tighter chamber than what the old one has. I might have to look at it a little bit. But uh, I got it dirty. Not too bad a shape. Put it up in the sink when Mary's not watching. I'm going to go back into the air conditioner. 
Well, I'm back out after I cooled off a little bit. I've made a, a target that's set up down the range here. I'm going to try shooting it uh, off of kind of an improvised rest to see how it groups. Another thing about this gun, I'm going to turn it towards my face there, don't get too excited. Uh, is it's got a, like a knife blade front sight like the uh, the old uh, first generation. So it's got a small square notch, uh, somewhat like the uh, second and third post four design. But anyway, you got to do a little more squinting. I'm going to load it up here and we'll see if we can get some shots made. Well, that looks like it's pretty well on as far as windage and elevation. It ain't a one whole group. But uh, then again, not too bad. I'll put five more down range, see how it goes. Well, I think it's close enough for cowboy action shooting. I was using kind of a, a uh, six o'clock hold on it. Let's bring a little bit of closure to this video. I'd like to thank uh, Bill Foosh out of Ten Sleeps, Wyoming, for his uh, assistance and guidance on this project. The uh, gun had a few issues to start with, but uh, he helped me out through some of that with a little advice here and there. Uh, his uh, gun shop is uh, Spring Creek Armory. I'll put a link down below. He's helped me out uh, several times from rebuilding some hammers and things like that. Some things I'm not uh, really uh, able to do. Otherwise, I do most of my other stuff. And uh, I think I've got this pretty well straightened out. It didn't blow up those things like Hickok 45, but I, I don't go out and buy uh, soda bottles to shoot up anyway. Just water. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, I'll see you some other time. Thank you.